Welcome back to another torch review. I have a different maker in today. It's the Folomov EDC C4. I haven't used any of their torches before, so they offered to send one in. I thought it might be of interest to viewers. You can see some of the specs on the front, rated to 1200 lumens, a distance around 175 meters. You also have a special customized cable for this, so you can use it as a power bank. And a quick look at the back of the box. My sample got slightly squashed for some reason, but we have four power levels and three strobe modes on this particular model. So it should be interesting to see how the uh, torch holds up real world. We'll have a little test later on. You get a decent quality, low profile wrist strap. The adjuster there is quite a low profile one. A lot of the budget ones don't have that. And we get the uh, included customized cable here which allows you to charge the torch and use it as a power bank. You can see the input there for the USB port. Now onto the torch itself. This is really small. It's just under 10 centimeters in length. So I think it's about the smallest 18650 torch that I've looked at to date um, by at least about a centimeter. And as far as the fit and finish goes, it's actually quite decent. No complaints at all. Just peeling open the cover there for the micro USB port. Fairly simple torch. You've got a silicone cover on the main side switch and we'll unscrew the base cap. There is a very slight grease on the threads. You can see a spring there, no magnet. On this particular one and I'll take the battery out. This is rated to 2600 milliamps an hour but we're going to do a test on the battery later on to see what that comes in at so stick around for that and we also you can unscrew the head of the torch and you can see there's a slightly raised contact point on there so you can use the flat top cells with this as well if you want to medium thickness on the aluminium as i said finish feels pretty good don't have any major complaints at all and this is using an xbl uh, v6 led with a smooth reflector it's quite shallow because of the size of the torch and you can see here holding it in my hand there just laying it on there it's really tiny so this could be of interest if you're after something that's very pocket friendly it's also quite light as well as you can see next to the warrior which isn't a particularly big torch it's uh, smaller than some of them out there it's quite a bit shorter than that so there's a big size difference and even compared to the nightcore concept one it's a, uh, also shorter than that and that's quite a small torch in its own right so what we do now is get onto the ui it's very simple you just push it in for about a second and it turns it on and then you push again to cycle through the power levels you'll see the green led there stays on with the battery level indicator so it goes up the power levels and then it goes down which is a bit different to some torches that usually go back to the low but i don't really see that as a problem and then you just uh, double press to get to the strobe and then double press to cycle through the three strobe modes that you have included so a very simple operation on this we'll do some shots outside later on with the uh, three strobe modes but the beacon is quite a slow beacon compared to most of the torches that i've looked at and then if you want to engage the lockout, triple press, and then you'll see the light flash three times, and then it's locked out, the side switch. Even if you long press, locked out completely, and then you just repeat again, triple press, and you see a single flash, and that means it's unlocked, ready to go. So glad that I included that on the side switch because it does protrude a little bit. As far as the overall finishing, it looks decent enough. I really don't have any complaints at all at this price point. It's around about £35 or $40, I think. Um, so it's reasonable enough quality. There's no obvious compromises. Just showing you the uh, cable plugged in. And we're doing some tests now on the power bank function. And you can see there, I'm trying to pull out maximum. I've got about uh, 750 milliamps. And it sometimes spikes up. Um, it got over an amp there, but then it settles back down again. So just around about the 800 so the actually that's actually with two devices but if you go back down to one i was getting roughly around about the 600 milliamps you're not going to get really rapid fast charging on this but it might come in handy in an emergency this is rated to ipx6 so it's not water submersible the official test is powerful water jets probably not going to be a problem because it is water resistant to rain etc and this just shows the battery level indicator and it starts flashing when it gets very low and there's two speeds the battery did come in a bit under the quoted 2600 so that pretty much tells me it's not a panasonic cell because they're usually very consistent with their battery capacities and this is the charging speed which is pretty good i got just under 900 milliamps charging it and you can operate the torch when it's charging and you'll see the red light 
flashing to let you know it's charging. It then turns to a solid green when it's finished and I measured the termination at 4.18 volts. So that's perfectly fine, very happy with that. Um, this is the user manual, I didn't get one with my sample, so it just lays out some of the specifications and the operation which I've already gone through, but it's up there for reference just in case you want to refer back to that. So now it's time to start looking at some of the beam shots. Now the lowest mode I haven't included, so I've started at the mid level, and then you'll see it move up to the high, which is rated to 200 lumens. Next one we go up, there is quite a big jump to the top turbo setting of 1200. So that's one point to note is there's fairly large gaps in spacing. With this I perhaps would have adjusted that a little bit. But we'll move on to just look at the Claris ST10 which is also a super compact 18650 torch and that has an optical lens on the front of the element. So you can see you get that uh, big wide hotspot on the Claris and you typically get that with torches that have the um, optical lens on the front. Just to mix in with the night core concept, mode spacing is a bit better on this one and it has a smooth reflector to be able to see that the top setting it does have a bit more power than the other torches, although there's nothing really wrong with the power output compared to the Claris torch on the C4. We're also going to run through some more of the beam shots now and we'll come back at the end with a few thoughts and a conclusion. couple of points to note with the follow mod. First of all, you're going to see that the power spacing, there's some fairly big jumps from the low to the mid. The lowest level is quite a bit lower than the 10 lumens, which I'm pleased to see. It's not quite moonlight, but it's not far off. But then you've got a big jump from the high to the turbo. So I would have adjusted the power spacing, make it a bit more even. Also, the power bank speeds weren't that quick, so this might get you out of trouble, but uh, I was not something that I would use very often myself, and the battery is a little bit below the label spec. So bear in mind with that power bank, you're going to get uh, about 60-65% to of the actual battery capacity with the charge capacity out of that, so do bear that in mind. Wouldn't have minded a holster included, that would have rounded off the package. On the upside, super compact size, one of the smallest that I've used to date. Very easy to get to grips with the interface and you have that side switch lockout and you also have 
decent charging speeds just under one amp mostly positive but there's just a few areas where they could adjust things and make it a better product because i do like to test things on the channel particularly the charging speeds and the battery capacities so that you know exactly what you're getting so thanks for watching the video do let me know what you think of this if you've used it and be sure to check out some of my other video reviews and i'll catch up with you soon